the maximum energy provided by a battery per unit charge passing through it that is 8.1 let's go ahead and look at 8.2 state the purpose of placing the switch next to the 8 ohm resistor let's go through our equation statement and see what is happening so grade 12 physics learners are conducting experiment to determine the emf and internal resistance of a battery they have access to an ammeter but do not have access to a voltmeter they set up the circuit shown in the diagram below. That is the information we have. Let's go back to our question again. State the purpose of placing the switch next to the 8 ohm resistor. They are placing the switch next to the 8 ohm resistor so that they can control the current in the circuit by changing the resistance. The only thing they have access to is an ammeter. Placing a switch right there allows them to control the current by changing the resistance. That is 8.2. Let's look at 8.3. The results of the experiment are shown in the table below. When the switch is open, we have a current of 4 ampere. And then when the switch is closed, our current is 6 amps. 8.3.1, we're supposed to determine the internal resistance of the battery. Using EMF is equals to the current multiplied by the external resistance plus the internal resistance. Let's look at our case when the switch is open and see what we're going to get. When the switch is open, there is not going to be current flowing in this path. So we just have the 8 ohm resistor and the 0 0.4 ohm bulb in series. So our total external resistance will be 8.4 when the switch is open. Our EMF is going to be equal to the current multiplied by the external resistance which is 8.4 plus the internal resistance. We have two variables, the EMF and the internal resistance. We need to call this equation 1 and set up another equation. Now, when the switch is closed. When the switch is closed, the EMF is still the same. It doesn't change unless you change the power source. The current is 6 ohm, but we need the external resistance. Let's go ahead and look at our diagram. When the switch is closed, the 8 ohm resistor is in parallel with the other 8 ohm resistor. So we're supposed to calculate resistance in parallel. We're going to have RP being equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. R1 and R2, they are both 8 and 8 divided by 8 plus 8. 8 multiplied by 8, that is 64. 8 plus 8, that is 16. 64 divided by 16, that is 4. So our RP is equal to 4. So here the effective resistance is 4 ohm. But we have this 0 0.4 ohm. So our total external resistance is 4 plus 0 0.4, which is 4.4. Let's get rid of all this and substitute 4.4 in our equation. So we have 4.4 plus our internal resistance. This is our equation 2. We're saying that the EMF stays the same. So we can equate these two equations. We're going to have 4 multiplied by 8.4 plus the internal resistance. Being equals to 6 multiplied by 4.4 plus the internal resistance. Now it is just a matter of solving for R. And we're going to have our internal resistance. Let's go ahead and do that and see what we're going to have. On the left hand side, we're going to have 33.6 plus 4R being equals to 26.4 plus 6R. 26.4 to the left hand side, we're going to get 7.2 being equals to 2R. If we divide both sides by 2, we're going to get R being equals to 3.6 ohms so that is our internal resistance 8.3.2 we are looking for the emf of the battery we have the internal resistance so that should be quite easy we can substitute r in equation one or equation two let's substitute it in equation one in equation one we have 33.6 plus 4 multiplied by r r is 3.6 so let's go ahead and substitute it. We're going to get 48 volts. If you substitute it in equation 2, 
you should still get the same thing. Let's carry on. Let's do 8.4. 8.4.1 calculate the power dissipated in the battery when the switch is closed the power dissipated in the battery when the switch is closed right let's go to our sketch when the switch is closed the current is 6 ampere the internal resistance is 3.6 so that doesn't change we know fully well that the power is equals to i squared multiplied by r well, the power is, is equals to V squared divided by R, and it is equals to V multiplied by I. But looking at the variables we have, it is wise that we use I squared multiplied by R, because we don't have to find a variable and substitute again. If we go ahead and do that, we're going to have 6 squared multiplied by 3.6. This is equals to 129.6 what that is the answer to 8.4.1 let's look at 8.4.2 energy dissipated in the bulb in six minutes when the switch is open when the switch is open our current is four ampere our time is six minutes so we have six minutes multiplied by 60 360 seconds what else do we have the bulb we have the resistance of the bulb it is equals to 0 0.4 ampere. We want to find the energy dissipated. So the work is equals to I squared multiplied by R multiplied by delta T. We are picking this equation because of the variables we have. The current that is 4 squared multiplied by the resistance 0 0.4 multiplied by the time 360. This will be equals to 2,304 joules, 8.4.2. The last question, 8.5. How is the brightness of the bulb affected when the switch is opened? State only brighter, dimmer, or no change. When the switch is open, we have a current of 6 ampere. And when it is closed, we have a current of 4 ampere. So we can clearly see that the current that the bulb is experiencing is going to be reduced when the switch is open so it should glow dimmer 